what's up beautiful people of youtube this is super dale and today i got another video to add to your toolkit now right on the side of me you see this picture right this right here is a micro usb to ethernet hub it's called a micro usb to ethernet which you see the ethernet port right here you see a cat5 wire ethernet to usb hub all right, and what that means, you can actually connect this to your Fire Stick, guys. If you don't want to use mouse toggle or anything like that, you can actually connect the wireless keyboard or wired keyboard and mouse to this device. Now, I suggest you go wireless, but you know, it is what it is. Do as you please. All right, so. This thing right here I've been using for over a year and it is awesome guys. It does the job. Some of y'all may use mouse toggle. I really don't have time for all of that. I just want to be able to pick up my keyboard and actually hit a button and boom, I got my keyboard. I can type. I can use the directional arrows on the keyboard up, down, side to side. And then I can type in URLs. I can type in a movie. I can... Well, I can search a movie in one of the applications which I'm going to display. Now, with that being said, of course, I got the Fire Stick. This is a Fire Stick 4K. I do got the micro USB hub, and I do have the power cord that will power this unit. Okay. So, first things first, before I show you on screen, of course, as you see, the micro USB on the Fire Stick. You connect this right here. Connect it on up. Connect it to your device or to your Fire Stick. It don't matter if it's a cube. It don't matter if it's a regular second gen Fire Stick. You even you even can use it on the first gen too. Um, but you know, again, it's really personal preference. Okay. So right on the back of here, you see this little dot. See this little dot right here. This is the power cord. All right. So you're going to stick this in because we we're going to use this hub to power the fire stick. So you put that in. OK, so it should look like this right here. Now, there's two ways to power. You can plug this USB into the back of your TV. And if it give it power, that's good. If it don't, I'm going to sit those down. You can actually put it into any USB adapter, all right? Whether it's the Amazon Fire um, Stick, you can use your cell phone. You can just give it power, okay? And once you stick it in, it should go like that, all right? Now, with that being said, you can plug it in. You can give it some power, and you will see your stick, you know, you'll see it pop on. Now, with the wireless devices such as wireless keyboards and mouses many keyboards also you got some other wireless keyboards and wireless mouse so you can connect that guys one way how you connect it right here you see some USB slots that is these right here this is what you call USB slots right here so what you do you take your dongle because this is the dongle this is called a dongle. This come with all wireless devices. Don't mix wireless up with Bluetooth. This is a wireless device, and every wireless device comes with a dongle. All right? It comes with something like this. All right? So what you do, you can plug that in. Just like that. You push it in. Make sure it's pushed in, and you should be good. All right, you see it right here. All right, maybe you got a better view right there because that light is flashing. I mean, it's shining. All right, if you want to hook up a flash drive, guys, say you got some programs, you got some applications you want to add to your Fire Stick 4K or, you know, your, your Cube TV. Just stick it in there. Or you got a movie or two that's on a flash drive. You want to watch it. You can. You can just plug it up just like that, guys just like that and you can go about your business now we about to show this bad boy all right 
as you see let me make myself a little bit smaller all right let me not move that one i want to move this one right here and we're going to do it live time so as you see i'm not using mouse toggle i'm using this keyboard right here you see me going down you're going to see me going up you're going to see me going to the right you're going to see me going to the left it's as simple as that but now guys if you want to if you got file link you want to go into your file link click let's go into the file link and you see these numbers right here say that's not the number you want all right but you see that little circle right here that i'm moving you can just boom put that on the end and you can actually click back and you can put whatever number you want into your file link app store I can hit the home button so if your home if your keyboard has a home button you can do that you can go down you can go to one of your applications such as terrarium tv right here or titanium i meant this is titanium same application and so um what you can do because it is a fire stick so to get to your apps you got to go to your directions and you can just hit the enter button and go in but once you're in, you can go over here to the hamburger menu, click on it right here, and you can go from TV shows to movies. I'm going to just click, click movies. And if you want to go down to the search option, just go and click on that. And guys, check this out. Uh, where is... Now, check this out. I'm about to show you in real time. If I want to search Halloween, all right, some people would do like this. All right. All right. And then they'll go down and hit next. And it should pull up all the Halloweens, right? Well, let me go back out. All right. Let me go back out. Now, let me use the keyboard that I got hooked up to my fire stick. So, if I go up in there, all right, and I can just put in. And there we go. We're done. And you go and hit next. And there it is. So if I want to go into what? Why? Let's put why did I get married? You see how that is? Guess how long it'll take <laughs> for you to type uh, that using this? It'll take a while. All right. It'll take a while. So, and that goes for all of your applications so if you want to go to cinema you can do the same thing you see you got the little mouse toggle right here and you can go up in here and search you can go up in here and search let's say hustle right let's type in hustle see how that is and then hit the down directional arrow and go and click next and let's see what it pull up or anything that says hustle in it all right and you can just use your down and just like that so a lot of your apps guys will allow you to do that you know a lot of them will allow you to do it it's very very fun and you can eliminate a lot of this or if you want to use that old last you know years version of mouse toggle it just take too long just go and get you a wireless keyboard and the rest is history guys i just wanted to show you the experience this is a video i should have did a long time ago but i'm glad i'm doing it now better late than never so guys let me know what you're using let me know if you're using a mini keyboard all right whichever one you're using let me know if you use a mouse toggle and why you use a mouse toggle yes you may pay a couple extra dollars to get this going yes you may pay for this and mouse toggle is free but at the end of the day, guys, it's all about the experience. All right, getting it done, getting it in. What if you're on Cody and you got to put that long URL in? You're going to get very, very upset using this and mouse toggle. I'm telling you not. Really, if it's a long website, a long URL. So, guys, click that thumbs up. Share this video. If you're not subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting on? subscribe to the channel also don't forget in the description guys go to my amazon store you can get this micro usb hub all right 
very very nice i know it looked like spaghetti right now but once it's behind your tv it's behind your tv um and you can order quite a few products from me but this is one of my well-known best-selling ones right here the micro usb hub all right it's very very nice very very nice salute don't forget to share this video thumbs up the video and guys i will see you on the next one this is super dell i'm signing out peace